acceptance. And, you know, any country should have the right to be able to do that. But under what circumstances? Uh, The United Nations, are they doing enough to hold them accountable for their atrocities? Do they do enough for China, for Malaysia, and other Asian uh, places? Do they do enough? And the answer is no. There has to be more outcry, more public sentiment about this, and the president has an opportunity to be able to call them out for these particular things. If If there was ever a case... And more than that, this guy just wants to build up his nuclear arsenal. Don't you think that the human atrocities, it wasn't nuke war. It wasn't building up a nuke program like Iran uh, and North Korea are doing because Iraq wasn't doing that. They had Scud missiles. Remember? Things are far worse because Kim has been launching these bad boys. He's got an ICBM. Saddam Hussein didn't have an ICBM. He wasn't going to launch nukes. He wasn't doing those things. Iran, meanwhile, was trying to do it, working with the North, perfecting their technology. But things are a whole lot worse. And when people say, well, what is Kim doing wrong? You got anybody that's ever questioned it, you got the Washington Post, which you know is to the left as it is. By the way, leaning a lot further to the left in this palm tree outside my window. So check it out in the Washington Post today. Do you remember Andy Rooney? You remember him of 60 Minutes? Here's a guy who uh, really said things as they needed to be said. He was given a a 10-minute segment uh, for many, many years on 60 Minutes that was never censored. By the way, I got to give credit. My mother had forwarded me a forward here of what Andy Rooney said. And next segment coming up, just a little tease here about the political correctness climate and all the PC police when it comes down to people that are calling people racist and all this other stuff, which is a bunch of hogwash. Uh, and Andy Rooney really set things into perspective. And you're going to definitely want to stay tuned for the second segment on this because in its entirety, I'm not going to do my best rendition of Andy Rooney. I'm just going to read what he wrote, but it was done very eloquently and man, classy as he was. It was really, really good stuff. By the way, uh, in the third quarter of this year, 1,376 Americans renounced their U.S. citizenship, putting the annual tally on track to top 2016's record data from the Treasury Department. In this year's fourth quarter mirrors that of 2016 when 2,365 people chose to to leave, 2017's annual data would be 6,813, according to an Internal Revenue Service report published by the Federal Register. That's a 26% rise from 2016's total of 5,411, which was itself a 26% jump from 2015. So what does this mean? Pace of Americans jumping ship started to accelerate in 2010 when the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act became law. That act was intended to uh, pretty much uh, steam tax invasion of U.S. citizens living or working abroad by basically requiring foreign institutions holding assets for American uh, to uh, report those accounts within 30% uh, tax on them. They were supposed to withhold the 30% tax. So that's the reason. It had nothing to do with Donald Trump being the president, because some of you may have been too happy about that on the left. And there's a lot of famous... Uh, Names like T.S. Eliot, born in St. Louis, director Terry Gilman, born in Minneapolis, and director John Hudson, born of Nevada, Missouri. Uh, This time last year, U.K.'s foreign secretary, Boris Johnson, was the quarterly list, and he was born in New York. So people have done this. Yep. So they're not being taxed. They renounce their citizenship. It's amazing what people will do for greed. But leave. 
take off if it's just for the money. Renounce your citizenship. I am proud to be an American, no matter how big the money is or how great the breaks would be. That is something that I would never, ever do in a lifetime is renounce my U.S. citizenship. Terrible. God forbid. There's a lot of greedy people out there, though. This is, you know, not a shocker. Uh, Our prayers, by the way, to the families in Sutherland, Texas, that small Baptist church. 26 people were mowed down, as you probably have seen the headlines. Another unthinkable tragedy in America. Waking up to this, seeing the images on television, with the poor, simple people. Um, and when I say poor, I don't mean broke. I'm just saying grieving. Um, it's a different world out there, folks. Uh, and when I say out there in our country, it just seems like the unthinkable has become reality way too often. And it's a reminder, folks, that we just don't know um, when something might happen. But I will tell you this. I am a gun-toting American, and I'm strapping. And uh, Robert Jeffers there in, in uh, Texas, he's on the morning shows, and I, I'll, I'll applaud him big. Because he says everybody in his congregation, his church is strapping. He's in Texas, and you can get, he can do that, but I'm sure he feels pretty secure. They got his back. Somebody comes to shooting, they're all going to be shooting. He, he said they, he, they might get one or two shots off. I love what Jeffers said this. Uh, he said, but he won't be along for this world very long. I'm all for protecting. This guy was a loose cannon in Texas, just like the, the Stephen Paddock guy in Vegas. Uh, Just like so many other loose cannons in our country that have gone into schools, gone into movie theaters, have gone into recruitment centers, have done this thing, as President Donald Trump has said, and from where he is now in the Asia Pacific, this is a mental problem in our country. People are deranged. There's a lot of sickos out there, folks. You got to take care of your family. You got to think. Uh, you got to think where you are, and what you have. Uh, and now these people, they did not know what was coming. It's kind of hard to prepare for something when you don't know. I'm sure people tried to hit the ground as much as they could when they heard the shots come out. So, uh, can you? Can they have been protected? Could it have been avoided? Uh, you'd have to probably never come out of your house, and I'm not suggesting that. We can't live in fear. Uh, But what I'm saying, my takeaway is, and I've said it in the beginning, you got to make sure you hug your loved ones uh, as much as you can uh, before uh, coming out of your house. Uh, Because you don't know when something like this can happen. Uh, These folks never, never thought that this could happen. No. No. But uh, kiss your wife, kiss your boyfriend, kiss your lover. Uh, You just don't know in this day and age. Our New York mayor and the FBI are saying they're believing a lot more attacks for ISIS in New York and other U.S. cities. So it just kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? We'll be back. It's a shame. It's unlike anything you've ever been through in your life, man. I was driving. This uh, kid threw a grenade at us. It went right over our vehicle. It was 12 years old. The shockwave went through my head, rattled up my brain, and left. Danger is around you 360 degrees at all times, and you can't unlearn that. It's impossible to describe the sacrifices these men and women have made to protect our freedoms. And the job of rebuilding their lives is massive and growing every day. Many will need the programs offered by the Wounded Warrior Project for years to come. I didn't know what PTSD was. All I knew was I was having nightmares. And when I got released, my reintegration was, go check in at the VA, man. My first coping mechanism was use drugs. 
Just numb it. Don't feel anything. I was angry. I'm trying to pull myself out of that right now. Your gift today of $19 per month will honor and empower these veterans so they can aid and assist each other. The Wounded Warrior Project is a life raft. I can say this without question that I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for it. The Wounded Warrior Project is, is the first step getting back out into the world and reforming yourself outside of the service. Call or go online with a pledge of $19 a month. You'll receive this Wounded Warrior Project blanket, and your gift will provide critically needed programs that rebuild lives. That was my first feeling of actually being a part of something bigger than myself again. Well, I lost a few really close friends overseas, and if I quit, I'm going to let them down, and I'm not about to do that. I'm learning to face my fears head on. To trust and see what happens at the end. It's a long process, but I had to drive and desire. Please, call or go online with your gift right now. For the people is there. Your American Heritage. On this night, a Washington lawyer was held captive aboard a British man of war as it tried to sneak by the American guns of Fort McHenry. British cannonballs raking the stockade walls of the fort. American shots slicing through the ship's rigging. A long and bloody night. And as dawn broke, the lawyer, Francis Scott Key was his name, penned the words, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Little did he know that his lyrics would live forever in our hearts. This has been Don Keyes with a musical manuscript, a stirring part of your American heritage. Your American heritage can be heard Monday through Friday, courtesy of For the People right here. Don't miss your American heritage. Introducing the official For the People coffee mug featuring the colorful red, white, and blue For the People logo with Keith Allen on a ceramic 11-ounce coffee mug, perfect for any hot beverage of your choice. This mug is a great reminder of what we stand for, God, country, and family, with conservative values and good old-fashioned common sense. To order your For the People coffee mug, pay just $20 plus $3.99 shipping and handling at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. And enjoy. With all the choices out there to enjoy some entertainment, wouldn't it just be nice to have something that didn't cost an arm or a leg? I found something that does just that. It's called 123 Ready TV. It's one of the most remarkable apps available to start watching all of those movies and TV shows for one incredible price, just $19.99. And that's a one-time only price. Recap, all your movies, current and classic, and sports and news, and so much more. So cut the cable and stop spending money at the movies when you can truly have it all at your fingertips. No commercials, just all the entertainment you desire. 123 Ready TV is available for Windows and all Android devices. Get your 123 Ready TV for just $19.99 at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Just click on the store page to get yours now and start enjoying entertainment the way it was supposed to be. Fun. Broadcasting all across America, thanks to Liberty News Network and our many affiliates coast to coast. Our website, by the way, if you like the show, it's ForThePeopleShow.com. We're listener supported. And uh, if you'd like to support our show, um, even buying a coffee mug right on our front page at ForThePeopleShow.com really will make a difference. And that's what we strive to do truly each and every day is to enlighten you and give you a perspective that is of conservative values, uh, which is important, and uh, God and country. 
first and foremost, and uh, that's what we stand for.